My name is Bob Hartman, and I'm going to read you a story from my new book, Hanging Out with Jesus, again. It's published by Authentic Media, uh, illustrated by Mark Beach, and written by me. Hope you enjoy it. ah I sneezed. And then I sneezed, ah again. Uh, still got that cold, don't you? I uh, went to Tomo. Yeah, I sniffled. Doesn't seem to want to go away. That is because you have consistently refused to use my Aunt Susanna's guaranteed to never fail cold and sneezing remedy, said Bart. And that is because you have consistently refused to tell me what is in your Aunt Susanna's guaranteed to never fail cold and sneezing remedy, I replied. And then I sneezed again. Gah-choo! How many times do I have to tell you? Bart snapped back. It is a secret recipe that I have promised never to reveal, even to my very best friends. Uh, but as your very best friends, Tomo said, uh, your only friends, in fact, as far as I can tell, we have heard enough stories about your strange relatives to assume that this so-called remedy contains at least one ingredient that is absolutely disgusting. Have you forgotten the mud beard you made me? I have not, Bart said proudly. It was a lovely mud beard, as I recall. Perfectly shaped, finely fashioned. You got a date out of it, if memory serves. Who dumped me the minute it cracked and fell off my face, and she discovered the bits of straw and poo that were hidden in it, Tomo shouted. Oh, someone is very grumpy today, Bart noted. No, somebody, well, both of us somebodies are just suspicious, I said. Oh, right then, Bart sighed. I will tell you what is in my Aunt Susanna's guarantee to never fail cold and sneezing remedy if you promise not to breathe a word of it to another soul. Promise, I promised. But Tama was suddenly distracted. Uh, something's going on up ahead, uh, he said, uh, with Jesus and the other disciples. Uh, I'll go check it out. Because I don't actually care what's in your dopey ants, dopey medicine. Oh, more grumpy than usual, Bart whispered. Yeah, okay, so what's in it? I asked. Well, there is a lot of milk for a start, Bart began. A cow milk, goat milk, sheep milk. Okay, lots of dairy, I nodded. It sounds all right so far. And then there is fat, Bart went on. A cow fat. Goat fat, sheep fat, uh, getting a little queasy now, I admitted. Oh, it's all mixed in, said Bart. Uh, the congealed stuff that you scrape off uh, meat, you'd, you'd hardly know it was there. Anything else, I asked. Oh, just a few random things, really, uh, Bart replied. Uh, let's see, a bit of bladder, <laughs> I gagged. A uh, slice of a uh, spleen, uh, I gagged again. A couple of uh, colons, I put my hand over my mouth. A, a hint of intestine, my gut was churning now. And a spoonful of partially digested cud, scraped from the inside of a cow's stomach. And that's when the contents of my stomach appeared, spraying across the grass and the path and my sandals. That is the most disgusting thing I have ever heard, I gulped. I will never, ever drink your Aunt Susanna's guaranteed to never fail cold and sneezing remedy. But it's working already, Bart exclaimed. You have not sneezed once since I started telling you what's in it. That's because it made me... Ah, never mind, I sighed. And that's when Tomo reappeared. I found out what the problem is, he reported. Uh, there are lepers ahead. Uh, ten of them. Oh dear, Bart said. They are very dangerous. Uh, not if you stay away from them. I replied. But, but, but they, they look very scary, Bart trembled, all covered with spots. 
Well, yes, some of them have different colored patches of skin, I suppose, said Tomo. And the claws, Bart continued, the sharp, nasty claws. Hang on, I said, holding up my hand. Are, are we talking about the same thing here? Because the last time I checked, lepers do not have sharp, nasty claws. In fact, the disease they have is so terrible th that sometimes their, their fingers actually fall off. So what are you talking about, Bart? Leopards, Bart muttered. I thought Tomo said leopards. Then he paused for a moment before speaking again. Can, can I point out, though, that it was an honest mistake? As I understand it, it is no longer appropriate to refer to people by their illnesses. So instead of calling them lepers, we should be calling them people with leprosy. If Tomo had simply done that, I would not have confused ten people who have a deadly catching disease with a spotted African carnivore. Tomo sighed. So now it's my fault that you can't tell the difference between leper and a leopard. People with leprosy, Bart insisted. I mean, how would you like it if we identified you by what was wrong with you? What if we called poor Pip here sneezy? What if we called you grumpy? What if we called you dopey, Tomo added. It would fit, that's what. It would make you a very small person, Bart replied. And I think you're bigger than that. Look, I sighed, why don't we just go and see what's going on with these ten people with leprosy? They, they were keeping a safe distance, if that happens. And that was good. And, and they wanted Jesus to help them. Jesus, Master, show us your mercy, they shouted. So Jesus said to them, Go, find a priest and show yourselves to him. And they went. Mark was, of course, confused. Uh, yet again, I, I don't get it, he shrugged. Why did Jesus send them to see a priest? Why, why didn't he heal them? I, I think he did, I said. I mean, we're not close enough to tell, are we? They, they stayed away so we, we wouldn't catch what they have. That's what they're supposed to do. But if they get healed of their leprosy, then they are allowed to get close to other people again. And it's up to a priest to uh, inspect them and make that decision. I think that's why Jesus sent them away. And just then, one of them returned. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, he shouted. The leprosy is gone, praise God. And he threw himself at Jesus' feet. Hang on, Tomo muttered. Uh, that accent, it's strange. Uh, that man's not Jewish like us. He's a, a Samaritan. Bart bowed his eyes. There you go again, putting people into little boxes. Sneezy, grumpy, dopey, leper, and now Samaritan. This is not making me very happy. But Samaritans are our enemies, Tomo protested, and have been for centuries. They married the people that destroyed our land. They worship God differently. They're foreigners. What's Jesus doing healing one of them? Uh, because he, he needed help, I muttered. Then Jesus himself turned to address us. I healed them people, didn't I? He said. Where are the other nine? That's what I want to know. It seems that it was only this foreigner who took the time to come back and give thanks to God. Then he looked at the Samaritan and smiled. Stand up, Jesus told the man. Stand up and go. You trusted me, and because of that, you are healed. You see, Tomo, said Bart, Jesus doesn't care what a person is called or where they come from. He's just happy when they trust him. Tomo grunted and looked at the ground and mumbled something. Come on, Bart said. If you have something to say, Tomo, spit it out. Don't be bashful. I don't know, Tomo sighed. And maybe it's just that Jesus keeps doing things I don't expect him to do. Like helping people who aren't like us. Even people who are our enemies. 
I know we all think that he's the, you know, what, the, the Messiah and all. But sometimes what he does makes me wonder. That's all. Well, I think that's a good thing, Bart grinned. How boring would it be if everything was just like we expected it to be? Hmm? I nodded. <laughs> Following Jesus has definitely had its share of surprises. Yeah, well, I'm not much of a fan of surprises, Tomo grunted. Then you definitely don't want to know what is in my Aunt Susanna's guaranteed to never fail cold and sneezing remedy, said Bart. Then he turned to me and whispered, Don't tell him about the undigested cow cud, Pip. And I vomited again. Of course. No surprises there. <laughs>